Wishing you all a happy new year 2023. I'm Jocelyn Rodis, product evangelist at ExcelQ. And today we'll be talking about 10 signs telling you it's time to automate. Now automated tests cannot solve all problems. Automated tests can only do what they are told and do not check anything else. There is no denying the fact that machines can never replace a tester's instinct, which is why you cannot achieve 100% goals with automated testing. Automation requires a lot of time and redundant automation can be noisy. Not to forget the maintenance overhead it brings along with it. Knowing what to automate is critical before starting any test automation activity. So let's deep dive into 10 signs telling you it's time to automate. Number one, when the task is highly repeatable and runs on multiple builds. For example, you want to do regression testing, smoke testing or run sanity tests. Number two, when the tests take a lot of time and have significant downtime between steps. Now, no one would want to have a human wait for long duration of time for the test to complete. This is when automation comes handy. Number three, when the test requires a great deal of precision and are subject to human error. Such kind of tests which require complex calculations are best automated. Number four, when the test requires multiple data sets. Any sort of data driven testing is best automated because of the humongous amount of data that we are feeding into the system and want it checked against. Number five, when the tests run on several different hardware or software platforms and configurations, whether you're running cross browser test or cross platform test, you definitely need to have assistance of automation. No one would want to run the same test on different browsers. Point number six, when you need to run multiple tests at once, be it performance test, load test or stress test, you wouldn't want different people to sit on different machines and perform the same activity on a particular website. You'd rather automate that stuff. Point number seven, when your tests are useful in the long duration and are going to give you the return on investment. So say no to one time test and work on automating those tests, which will give you a long term return. Point number eight, when your application is stable and does not change frequently. It's always good to automate when you have a consistent UI, unchanging requirements and regular controls in place. Though there are now self healing platforms, it is advisable that your platform that you're automating is stable. Point number nine. When the output of your test is easily measured. Now you do not require complex exploratory testing to done on certain happy part test cases. This is when you can always introduce automation into the picture. Point number 10, ask yourself, why am I automating? And the answer should not be because I can check if the test automation is feasible. Check if you have the right skills to automate. So don't rush into automation. Make sure you're using automation to assist testing, not replace testing. So get started on your automation journey. If you have any questions, you can connect to me on LinkedIn or Twitter at at the rate Jossley. Thank you so much and have a good rest of the year 2023 and wishing you all a success. Cheers.